Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wurstaf, and today I've got some crazy exciting news for you guys today. The brand new hero is being introduced in this video. Also, we're going to talk about the new updates that's coming out with this latest update. And we're also going to talk about the whole new team faction auras that are changing everything in the game. I mean, basically the game just came out about a week, but the devs are going really hard at work here. I mean... Damn, they're changing so many things right now with this new update here. So stop what you're doing right now. Don't work on anybody. I don't recommend working on anybody yet until this update comes out. Because this character is going to change everything, guys. And his name is Lucifer. And he is really the devil. Alright, that was a really corny line, guys. Come on, you expect me to use this? What are you talking about, my friend? That is a great line. Just use it. Couldn't you come up with something better? That is all I got for now. I cannot do any more. Alright, just edit that out. And let's just continue. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's begin with the hero, guys. This is Lucifer, Hell's Guard. So you guys have already seen him in the game already because he is the world boss currently right now. But first of all, the design I love. I mean, just take a look. He's got blades coming out of his like off out of his fists here. And he just looks incredible. I love the design here. I really can't wait to see him in action. Let's go ahead and break down his abilities and see if the juice is really worth the squeeze, guys. So let's take a look at his ultimate ability here. Fiery Tremors. Lucifer takes off into the sky, then clashes down onto the ground, creating three tremor waves, dealing 135% damage per wave to enemies within an AoE area wow that is actually a really cool ability here guys this is essentially a three attack ability here 135 percent per wave times three aoe damage basically to a bunch of different characters that are close within close uh, vicinity together that is a lot guys that is about 400 percent damage and uh, that is tremendous amount of damage here from his ultimate. So uh, that already seems to be very powerful right off the bat here. Let's move on to his special ability here. Ember Dash. Lucifer dashes forward a closest enemy, dealing 125% damage, lowering uh, this enemy's defense rating by 35% for one second. After that, Lucifer dashes back, burning his target for 45% damage per second for three seconds. Whew! Wow, okay, so uh, this is doing a ton of different stuff here, but first of all, dealing a good amount of damage, 125. So depending on his base damage, guys, his first ability here and his second ability is going to do quite a bit here. If he's got a high base damage, this 125 and 135, this is going to stack up quite a bit here. He's going to lower their defense rating by 35% for one second. Now, that's not that long of a time, but I'm assuming as you level this ability up to level 2 and level 3, It'll make it a little bit longer. That's what I'm assuming. Don't know yet, guys. Cannot verify that for now. But after that, Lucifer dashes back and then he burns his opponent for 3 seconds. So 45% damage for 3 seconds. That's also based burning damage is based off his base damage here. So uh, pretty cool, guys. Really, really awesome here as well. Uh, two of his first abilities seem to be really great. Let's take a look at Battle Roar, his third ability. Lucifer roars really loudly. Rah! <laughs> Somebody give me some water. Granting all allies 10% crit damage for each unique faction within the battle formation for 5 seconds. It caps at 50. Oh, oh my god, guys. This ability right here is unbelievable. This one I like better than all of the other abilities, to be honest, right here. So... First of all, this is a little glimpse at what we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video here when he's unlocking all new factions, all new faction auras into the game. But this guy is going to grant all of your allies 10% crit damage for each unique faction that you have with him on the battlefield. So bang, rainbow auras, here we come because uh, this is what it's meant to do, guys. If you can get five different factions in there, 50% extra crit damage for all your characters for five seconds that could be and the game guys because uh, crit damage is insane so if you pair them up with a couple of characters that actually increase crit percent chance he increases their crit damage this could be really powerful right here guys and we'll get into unique the new aura factions in just a little bit so let's just finish off lucifer here with his final ability here infernal reincarnation when lucifer takes fatal damage he'll explode in rage dealing 250 percent damage to all enemies while stunning them for 1.2 uh, for 125 seconds then he kneels down recovers 50 percent of his hp while releasing infernal heat 
dealing 100% damage per second for 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, if Lucifer doesn't die, he'll come back to life with his remaining health. Okay, guys. Wowzers, Bowsers. That is incredible right there. So, he, he, there's a lot of stuff going on with this ability here. But I'll break it down very simply. He's going to take fatal damage, but he's not going to die. He's going to just literally explode in rage. Deal a ton of AoE damage to everybody on the battlefield. He's going to stun him for a short period of time. He's going to kneel down as in to pray to the heavens to give him strength and health. And then, for about three seconds... If within those three seconds, he doesn't die, your opponents do not attack him. They just, for some reason, miss him because they're crazy. He's going to come back to life, whatever uh, HP he's got left. And uh, that is nuts right there, guys, because uh, I can just see this guy just lasting over and over here. It's just going to be a pain to take out, in my opinion here. So, uh, man, overall, Jesus Christ, guys, save your summons. Let me tell you, save your summons right now, guys. You need to go for this guy. He is a game changer right off the bat. Law was pretty good, but this guy is totally OP. I mean, he literally is his own faction. He is changing the game as we know it right away, right off the bat here. And I love this whole new implementation of a character and the fifth faction into the game here. So speaking of the fifth faction, let's get into a unique faction uh, auras here. Let's see what the changes are going to be. All right, guys. So let's talk about the Awakened Ember faction here that Lucifer is going to bring into the game here. So this one is going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to break it down uh, very simply for everybody here. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about it yet or not. So here's how it's going to work. If you are not going to be able to get Lucifer yet, nothing is going to change because you're still going to get the same bonuses that you're currently getting with your current roster right now. So you can keep working on your characters. You're still going to get the bonus with three of one faction and two of another faction, or you can get four of one faction or five of one faction bonuses. So that's not going to change, guys. What is going to change is once you implement Lucifer onto your team, all of a sudden your auras are going to switch to the new RGB bonus faction and it's going to work like this. For each character of a different aura you have on your field, the maximum you can have is five, you're going to get these bonuses right here. So if you have one unique faction, which is impossible because there's only one Lucifer in the game, which means he himself is a faction. So the first one is automatically given as soon as you have Lucifer in the game right there. So that one is a given. The, the least amount that you can have from here is two unique factions. So you can get Lucifer and four other characters of one faction. That's possible. Uh, getting three, you're going to get accuracy and you're going to get uh, HP regen. If you have four, you're going to get uh, magic res and crowd control reduction. And then if you have five, the rainbow faction, you're gonna also going to get energy regain plus crit rate. That is incredible right there, guys, because that is what's going to make this guy, Lucifer, a, a whole lot better here because we already saw that this guy is going to increase all of your character's crit damage. So you don't just get one of these things, you get all five of them if you have five different factions on the battlefield all at once. But not only that guys, the unique faction bonus that you're going to get is also going to scale with Lucifer, alright? So as you can see here guys, I got a chart here of how it's going to scale with Lucifer. If you have elite Lucifer, for instance, uh, a five unique faction, uh, energy regain is 4% and crit rate is 2%. If he jumps up to legendary, it's a uh, 6% and 3%. And then if you go all the way up to immortal, then it's 10% and crit is 5%. And everything else also changes as you can see there. So he gets a ton more bonuses the more you upgrade your Lucifer, right? So this guy is so important. So if you can get him up to a uh, heroic immortal, oh my God, it's going to be phenomenal. Look at all those bonuses that your team is going to get, guys. You're literally going to destroy PVE for sure because the game just cannot handle this kind of power. And PVP is going to be a tough, tough deal to mess with this guy here, depending on who you're going to put with him in the battlefield. But overall, this is a sweet little bonus here. And there's a lot of changes that are happening, guys. So uh, let's talk about some of the heroes that might be a good fit with Lucifer here. So overall, basically, Lucifer just seems to be a crazy DPS character just dealing a ton, a ton of damage. So in my opinion, I'm going to try to see if I can pair him up with a few crowd control characters, maybe a little bit of healing, mostly crowd control here. Uh, I'm going to be doing more summon videos in the future here and more team updates in the future. So stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because there's a ton of stuff that are going to be coming out uh, in the near future here. 
here. There's also an official Discord channel to this game here, as well as a Facebook page, guys, so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, that will be it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. I'm crazy excited about Lucifer. So excited. We'll wait until this update comes out. Lucifer comes out. We'll do some summoning, see what we can do. Hopefully, I'm lucky, and then we'll uh, go from there, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in and hanging out, and I will catch you guys on the next video, guys. Have a nice day.